G'day, my name's Wilfred West from Moxport, Victoria, Australia. Today's date is the 6th of the 7th, 2015, and it's 25 to 12 in the morning. And this is my say on China. Um, at the present, I saw an interesting story last night, um, is that these Chinese investors, it's not one of them, these Chinese investors want to come into Australia, they want to buy up um, the cattle industry, part of the cattle industry up north, they want to own it outright, they want to own the slaughterhouse, they want to own the shipping, and they also want to own the, the shipping out of Australia, like the docks. And they also want to bring in 5,000 of their own workers. I think that is a wrong thing, a wrong message to, to say to Australian people. Right? The Australian government should say no. I've got no problem with people investing in Australia and stuff like that, but they've got to do it um, a bit better than what they want to do. They've got to do it fairly. They've got to do it only a percentage, I'd say, of their investments can be owned partly on, on properties and stuff like that. They can't own 100% of any given property. We can't in, in, in China, so why the hell should they do it here? That's the first thing. The second thing, you should not bring it your workers into, a, into our country. We have high unemployment rates as it is at, at the moment, right? 16% new unemployment rates in some parts of the country, even higher in other parts of the country. These people need jobs. We should be training these people or people, Australians, going into these places and working there, okay? In the abattoir, in the, in the cattle industry, and also the shipping and so forth like that. We should not bring any foreign workers into these positions, and that should not be allowed by the Australian government. If the Australian government does this, that government should be banned and another government should be put in place and tell them to get, get the hell out of the country, kick their workers out of the country and put Australian things in because Australian standards will drop. Okay, that's the first thing. The production, they're going to get paid less than the Australian workers are. Okay? Simple as that. I think the government is going down the wrong pathway allowing this to happen. If they allow it to happen, then I think it's, 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 it's basically just a one death nail into Australia and think. Because what do they do? They sell the land. Yeah, I think Australia makes a little bit of profit there. They make a little bit of profit off their off their uh, taxes. Well, of course, they, as a business, they'll reduce their taxes as best they can. Okay? So they'll be paying literally no taxes. Okay? And not only that, they're going to bring in their own 5,000 workers, which is going to basically cover every single job in that whole chain. Right? And you look what they've done to their own country, for God's sake. Do we want a nation that has screwed up its own country, polluted its own country, has less than 3% uh, three groundwater clean, has less than 10% um, sorry, that's, uh, that's the, uh, bubble of lakes and so forth clean, uh, has less than 10% groundwater, right? aquas and clean drinking water. They've got polluters, they've got rivers that are so polluted now that there's no way they're going to revive that river in, in, in my lifetime let alone a hundred years or two hundred years down the track, okay? And we want them to come to Australia and invest in our country? No way! Oh, you got to feed their own people. They've got, they've got about a billion people. But they're ruining the planet for everybody, not just themselves, but also ruining for us, okay? Their pollution is basically affecting how the world is going. I, um, I think it's, being honest with you, I think we're... If we allowed foreign com com companies or foreign ownership into Australia, it should be completely controlled. There should be only a certain amount of the company or a certain amount of that land they can allow to own. They can't own outright 100%. They cannot bring their own foreign workers into Australia. We have to have that chain. We have to own those rights. Right? If we start doing that, who's to say in um, 50, 60 years time when they've got this nice connection, and Australia goes, oh, we're going to need that. Uh, you can't have that anymore. Or you're going to have to pay us more money. And they say, no, we've got to agree. Right? And let's say they just, all they have to do is bring their own army and air force in here. They're protecting their own China. The government will bring their own air force, their own army, their own people into these places, right? And say, well, we own this. The Chinese citizen owns this, right? Regardless of that Chinese citizen is a, mil a millionaire or not. That citizen owns it, right? And that citizen, right, we're protecting, we're protecting their rights. Okay, so all of a sudden, you've got foreign troops on our soil, and that will happen. Mark my words. 
America will decline, right? So they won't become the big global power they are at the moment. That's going to happen. That's a matter of, that's in the cards. Nothing's going to change that, okay? Because all, all China has to do, they own, what was it, over a trillion dollars in American debt? What happens if they decide to claim what they own, what America owes them? America will collapse, okay? America's on its way to collapse regardless of what anybody says or tries to do. Right? The only way America is going to fix itself up from debt would be to separate itself from the rest of the world. They're all what's books in debt, so $16 trillion doesn't exist. Rewrite their constitution because, honestly, the right to bear arms. Um, rewrite their constitution and to do what they need to do, like to fix their country up, right? instead of let it, letting it owned by big businesses, because that's what's wrong with America. And that's what's going to continue to ruin America. I've got good friends of mine in America. I love America and I love Americans. But they have got their own, they've got their own problems and they're going to have to deal with those. And I'd say 10, 20 years at most, they won't be a good major global partner at the moment. I've already spoken my word about Greece. I know what's going to happen there. Um, and I've pretty much predicted what's going to happen. I said this 20 odd years ago, what's going to happen to me, you know, right. Second, now, going back to Australia, we do not want Chinese foreign workers on Australian soil. Full stop. Okay? They should be scrapped off the table immediately. They should only own X amount of business in Australia. Right? Percentage of that business. Right? Nothing. More than say 50% of the very most. Okay, 49 I would say that you own, and that's it. Now, I can't understand they want to invest $3 trillion. I'd rather than them wipe their asses with their $3 trillion. They want to put that money back into their own economy and clean it. Fix the rivers, fix the water, fix the pollution. Right? You're importing air from Canada, fresh air, in, can in cans. Are you selling to your own people? How bad is your nation? How bad is your country? Well, you have to do that, okay? I love Australia, right? and I will. I do not want to see it being sold away to foreign owners, where the money is going to go overseas. The workers are coming here in Australia, and they're not going to get work, and the money is all going to go back overseas. So nothing's going to stay in Australia. We're not going to own it, okay? It's just a joke, okay? And Tony Abbott, for God's sake, so start looking after Australians, okay? Because I know. The way you're going, the majority of Australians are going to not vote for you. I'm going to say 80 to 90 percent. Right? It's slipping a little bit, but not much. But I'm going to say you're going to lose that by that much if you do not change the way you're going. Stop the rhetoric about terrorism. Stop the rhetoric about other crap that so-called we have to have. We have to be afraid of things. Okay? I'm going off the beaten track here, but as I said before, China. We need to sit down and think about how they um, invest in Australia, but not own 100% of the property or the whole, whole chain from start to finish. Right? We need that money back into Australia, we need the investors from Australia to stand up to do it into Australia, and not, and not worry about a country that's basically killing itself and killing its own people. Well, my name is Wilfred West from Oxford, Victoria, Australia, signing off. This is my stay on China. I hope you like my videos, and if so, please subscribe. You all have a great day now.